Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio, here, back with another Mafia City video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Godfather equipment. Currently, there are 10 unique pieces of Godfather equipment, and each piece can be of 5 different colors. The green pieces only give you one fixed attribute per piece. The blue pieces give you a fixed attribute along with a random attribute that you can customize. The purple pieces give you two fixed attributes along with one random attribute. The orange pieces give you two fixed and two random attributes. And the gold pieces give you three fixed attributes along with two random attributes per piece, except for the level 42 Godfather's Watch, which gives three fixed attributes along with three random attributes. Once you unlock a Godfather's equipment that gives you a random attribute, you'll be able to change its attributes for free twice a day. However, if you want to do more than two alterations in a day, then you'll need to spend gold depending upon the level and color of the Godfather equipment being altered. On reaching SVIP 5, you'll unlock the multi-alter feature which allows you to do 10 alterations at the same time for 5% less gold. This is a very useful feature if you're planning to spend a lot of gold to get better stats on your equipment. You can also lock certain attributes while you're altering stats. However, locking an attribute only locks the attribute type and not the percentage of the attribute. This means that the percentage of the attribute will keep changing even after it is locked. Also, from what I've experienced, locking an attribute always reduces the probability of getting high quality attributes on the equipment, so I wouldn't recommend locking attributes on your blue or purple godfather equipment since they only give you one random attribute each. However, it's better to lock attributes once you start working on your orange and golden quality equipment, especially if you're looking for two very specific attributes. Now let's take a look at the 10 different pieces of godfather equipment. The first one is the level 1 godfather's ring. Its fixed attributes give you cargo production, resource gathering speed, and crew load. Its random attributes could give you crew load, resource gathering speed, resource production, and gold gathering speed. This piece of equipment is mainly useful for farms, however, you could also use it on your main account while collecting resources, gathering gold, or even while emptying farms for that extra crew load. The next one is the level 5 Godfather's Diary. Its fixed attributes increase your training speed, reduce your upkeep, and decrease your training cost. Its random attributes can increase your training speed, training capacity, normal crime op speed, or even increase crime op speed while attacking street forces. This equipment is useful while training troops as it can save you a ton of resources and speed ups, and you can also use it while attacking street forces to get a huge boost in your street force op speed. The next one is the level 10 Godfather's Necklace. Its fixed attributes increase your healing speed, wounded capacity, and reduce your healing cost. Its random attributes could give you more healing speed, wounded capacity, resource production, and vault capacity. The necklace is very useful during City Royale or any other event where you have to heal a lot of troops. It can also be used to temporarily increase your hospital capacity if you plan on defending an attack from a stronger player. The next one is the level 15 Godfather's Scarf. Its fixed attributes increase your Reinforcement Ops defense and attack, and Reinforcement Ops capacity. Its random attributes can increase your Raid speed, Reinforcement capacity, Reinforcement Ops capacity, Reinforcement Ops speed, and Reinforcement Ops attack, defense, and counter stats. I'm still not sure how the counter stats help, however, the Reinforcement Ops attack and defense give your troops extra stats whenever you reinforce someone, so always make sure you use the Godfather's Scarf if you're reinforcing your clanmates. The scarf is also good for setting raids as it can give you up to 400,000 more raid capacity. The next equipment is the level 20 Godfather's Sunglasses. Its fixed attributes increase your defense weapon attack and your crew defense and attack while defending your turf. Its random attributes increase defense weapon attack, defense weapon damage, defense weapon build speed, and wall durability. This is probably the most useless Godfather equipment in the entire game as none of its random attributes are useful. The only two useful attributes it gives are the 10% crew defense and attack while defending your turf, so even an orange coat could easily beat it. The next one is the level 25 Godfather's Coat. Its fixed attributes give you more crew defense, attack, and ops capacity. Its random attributes could increase your crew attack or defense while attacking turfs, during resource battles, while defending turfs, or even during normal battles. They could also increase your crime ops capacity. 
The level 25 Godfather's coat is probably better than the level 30 Godfather's knife and the level 35 Godfather's gun, since a knife and gun only give you an attack buff while the coat gives you an attack as well as a defense buff. It's obviously better than the level 40 Godfather's cane as well since the cane is only useful during cross server battles. I'd always suggest using the purple, orange, or golden coat for the underground tournament since it's clearly better than the purple, orange, or golden knife and gun. The next one is the level 30 Godfather's Knife. Its fixed attributes give you crew attack, turn a few of your losses to wounded whenever you attack other players, and also increase your crime ops capacity. Its random attributes are the same as the Godfather's Coat, except the knife does not give you any resource battle buffs. I'd suggest using the knife while attacking other players' turfs to reduce your losses. Then you have the level 35 Godfather's Gun which is very similar to the knife. Its fixed attributes give you crew attack, they turn a percentage of the enemy's wounded troops to losses whenever you attack their turf, and they also increase your ops capacity. Its random attributes are the same as the Godfather's knife but slightly better. The gun is again useful while attacking turfs, especially if you're attacking someone with big hospitals and want to kill a few of their troops. Then we have the level 40 Godfather's cane which is mainly for cross server events. Its fixed attributes give you more crime off capacity, raid capacity, and crew defense all during cross server battles only. Its random attributes are the same as the Godfather's gun but slightly better. This equipment is only useful during cross server events. I really don't see the point in using it during normal events. And finally we have the level 42 Godfather's watch which is currently the best Godfather's equipment in the game. Its fixed attributes give you crew attack, defense, and crime ops capacity, and its random attributes are again the same as the level 40 Godfather's cane but slightly better. The watch can be used for literally anything, you can use it for the tournament, during cross server events, or even while attacking turfs. It's like an enhanced version of the Godfather's coat with an extra random attribute slot. So that's all I had to talk about Godfather's equipment in this video. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Teflon from City126 for sharing screenshots of higher level Godfather's equipment. Also, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for supporting me. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.